Hi guys, welcome back to Origami Twist. My name's Jen and today's video is all about Perlex pigments. Now, if you've never heard of Perlex before, it is essentially a very finely milled pigment which is um, completely metallic or luminescent or pearlescent, however you want to describe it, but it just has a really beautiful sheen to it and can be used in tons and tons and tons of different ways. On their website they actually mentioned that you can mix this with auto paint, you can use a, an extender and put it on fabric, you can mix it into wax to make candles, you can mix it with polymer clay, you can apply it dry to pour, pour a services porous surfaces. It can be used for shrink plastic, leather, glass, canvas, wood, all kinds of things. So today I'm going to be talking about paper applications. And again, this is by no means the extent of the options for this. Um, it's just to give you a couple of ideas to see if maybe you want to try to play with it. Now you can buy this stuff online. I'll, if I can find a link, I'll put one below. Um, but you can also buy it in multi-packs at Michael's and I purchased I actually had a request for this particular video because I showed these in a couple of videos I think um, I purchased this kit at Michael's over Christmas I think it's about $30 for 12 colors and when you use the 40% off coupon or you buy it at um, you know Thanksgiving like we were visiting my parents in the States so I thought why not got a massive coupon and I think I paid less than $15 for it when, when all was said and done. So there are a lot of, um, you know, it's a little bit of an investment, but these little things will go a long, long, long way. There we go, I'll give you a look inside. It's basically just a powdered pigment. It looks a lot like eyeshadow, but um, I have done a bit of research and they say do not use this as makeup and also don't mix it into um, food in any way. It's non-toxic, but the company actually recommends not putting it into um, cosmetics or food. So that's the directions I'll follow. You can you can do whatever you um, you know use your best judgment for what you use it for. But other than that, the sky's the limit. So let's have a look at the different options for paper crafting. You've got Perlex and Versamark. You've got Perlex plus clear embossing powder plus Versamark. You've got Perlex plus a gel medium. And you can see how shiny, I was amazed how shiny this one was. The, sh the gel medium I think is my favorite um, just because of the, just the luminescence that it produces is beautiful. Second favorite is the clear embossing powder mixed with it because it just lets it shine. Literally. Perlex and gesso. Now you can see there's a lot of titanium dioxide which is very 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 white in gesso. It's used to um, sort of prep a canvas when you're going to paint. So I mix the same amount of Perlex pigment into this one as I did with this one and look at the difference in color. It creates almost a greeny gray. Oh and by the way the color example I'm using here is spring green. If you want to get this particular color. So you can see how the different mediums that you're actually mixing the pigment with make a huge difference in the outcome. This one is Perlex plus texture paste and I used a stencil by Plaid for this one and it's this stencil down here. I just masked it off and then applied it over it and then you know of course mixed the pigment into the texture paste until I got the color I wanted and then you know run it across just like you would with any texture paste. And the last example I've got for you here is Perlex plus Mod Podge which creates an interesting effect. It's quite um, quite shiny and very washed out which would really be interesting over the top of other things. There are three types of Perlex pigments. You have regular Perlex pigments, which create that beautiful, this is actually a regular one, the spring green, and it just creates that beautiful sheen. 
You also have interference colors, and those look different depending on how you use them. So depending on what you mix them with and how you apply them to your paper or your surface, they'll actually have different colors and different effects to them, but the same pigment. And then there are, of course, duo colors, which actually change color depending on the angle you look at them. Now, the spring green has a little bit of a duochrome, but it is not a duo color. It's not quite as intense as um, some of the other options. Now, as far as how to prepare your texture paste or your gel medium or any of these things for application, it's pretty straightforward. You're just going to get whatever it is that you're working with as far as your medium is concerned, artist medium. And I'm going to use an artist spatula, but you could use a little tiny, you can use anything you've got that is easily cleanable afterwards. Even a, a butter knife from the kitchen would be okay. And then you take your Perlex pigment and a piece of cardstock or whatever it is that you're going to be applying it to. And I'm using one of those surfaces that's very similar. This is a knockoff version of um, Tim Holtz's um, artist surface. So I can actually apply the material straight to it. But if you don't have that, you could, you could even use a paper plate to mix this up. It's totally up to you. Or if you've got a, an artist palette, that would be great as well. And so I've just put a little bit of the gel medium here. I've picked the gel medium to show you just because I think it's one of the most vibrant mediums that you can use. And then I've wiped off my spatula, or you could use a different spatula. And you just start with a tiny little bit of the pigment. See, it's not very much, just a little tiny bit and mix them together. It's that easy. When you've mixed it so that you're happy with the consistency, then you just take a brush or, um, you know, as I said here, I've got my artist spatula or whatever it is you want to apply it with. You could use a sponge. It's great for all kinds of things. And get a little bit onto it and apply it. Now I'm giving you a wash of color here just so you can see the effect, but really you could, you know, paint, paint objects with it. You could do all kinds of stuff. It is so neat. And then you just let it dry. And it is that simple. You, you treat it exactly the way you would with whatever medium you're mixing it with. And it just colors it and makes it so pearlescent and sparkly. And it's just so much fun. And clean up simple, you just clean it up exactly the same as you would with whatever medium that you're using. So that's what you do for each of the uh, different artist mediums, gel medium, gesso, any of those things. You just mix in a bit of the powder into the medium and then apply as you normally would. Okay, so you can take your clear embossing powder and mix it with a little bit of the Perlex pigment. I have about a 3 to 1 ratio here, but again, it just depends on the look that you want. And I'm storing this in a tiny little Tic Tac box that I got in Dubai. But I've just seen them recently in Australia. And I think I saw them over Christmas when we were in America. So you should be able to get these. They're great little containers, um, you know, that you can store your, your made up uh, embossing powders once you create them. So again, three parts of this to one part of the Perlex pigment. And it should store indefinitely. And you would emboss that exactly the same as you would anything else. You stamp in your Versamark ink. And then apply your embossing powder. Make sure you make up enough embossing powder. There we go. Apply heat. There you go. I need a better quality um, clear embossing powder, but the uh, pigment itself looks amazing. And there you go. Super simple. And if you want to, we'll do one more um, option. And by the way, that Ready, Set, Go stamp is from the Close to My Heart My Acrylics. And that's D1600. And here we go, Everyday Life. And it's this stamp. 
So if you don't have um, embossing powder or you just want it to be a, a flat look but you really really want that color to it, you just again stamp in verse Mark Ink, one of my favorite products in my craft room. Get a fluffy brush. This is an inexpensive um, eyeshadow brush. And you can either pick it up from the lid or transfer a little bit into a another container. I'm being very brave to go right out of the thing here. Don't want to spill it. And then you just apply the powder to the verse mark and you'll see the the words start to come up. Now once this, once you've applied it completely, it should be pretty permanent. And then you just brush off the excess. And there you go, it's that same beautiful texture, or sorry, that same beautiful pearlescence but without the texture. So you've got heat embossing versus regular application. So either one is perfectly okay. It's just different effects. Oh, and last but not least, this stamp, if you're interested, comes from the By the Tide set by Stampin' Up! And I was just looking in this year's catalog. This is a current set. So if you want that, that's from Stampin' Up! Alright, there you go. Heaps and heaps and heaps of different options for your Perlex pigments and a little introduction to how it all works. I hope you enjoyed that and get some pigments and have a play with them. They are lots of fun to work with. Make some, you can make some amazing projects with them. And uh, there you go. Have a great day guys and we'll see you back here on Friday for another video. Take care.